All right, y'all, what's the scoop? Here's the situation. Today is Friday, and I promised you I was gonna do a Firearm Fridays every Friday. And today, I was going to go out and do a shotgun patterning video where I showed you how each shot through each choke patterned at a different distance. So on my way up to Bass Pro to pick up some shot, my buddy Joe Rieger calls me. Now Joe has an organic pepper farm out in Okeechobee. And if I guess the hogs are just eating it up. So he said, please come out and shoot a couple of these hogs, which he didn't exactly have to twist my arm. So I'm gonna go out there, I'm gonna put up a tree stand, I'm gonna set up a feeder so I get the hogs coming to one central location. Who knows, this is Firearm Friday. I think this is our fourth video. We'll see you soon. Well, came in here this afternoon. Big block of hardwoods over here, surrounded by pine and palmettos and swampy ground. Perfect habitat for these hogs. At night, they're going over here to the pepper fields, just wreaking havoc there. So from that stand, I got plenty of background. Big tree, be a great spot. Sure, we'll be able to kill some. Look at that. Nothing but hog root. Everywhere you look, hog root. Now, that's a big pepper farm. This is my buddy's pepper farm. It's called Florida Organic Farm. And uh, if you don't keep them out, the hogs will absolutely destroy all your fields. Now, if you look, that's a big block of woods over there. That's that big head. I actually put the tree stand right back in there. What them hogs are doing is they're coming out, staging up, and as it gets dark, they're coming out into these fields. They're coming out of them woods and those woods out into these fields. And once they start planting, if you don't manage the hogs, you got a big problem. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna look and try to figure out where these hogs are coming from. Are they coming more from the north or more from the south? We know they're not coming from the west because there's nothing over there. So. Anytime you're hunting, this is for you guys who are relatively new to hunting. The key is figuring out where the game is, where it's going, and trying to get in between it without it being able to smell you. Almost all wild game, especially wild hogs, use their nose as their first line of defense. Right now we got a strong east wind, which means I can hunt that whole east wall there. Hopefully kill one this afternoon. Beautiful stuff, holy mackerel. Beautiful. All right, y'all. I've been going all day long. And I'm gonna show you, for those of you who don't know, that stuff right there, that's what won World War II. The uh, Germans said that spam, they were talking about the spam that the Allies had. I know a lot of you kids watching, y'all probably never eaten this in your life, but I've eaten a ton of it. I didn't have time to stop and get anything to eat, so I'm gonna show y'all. Growing up as a kid, my dad would always make us spam sandwiches. A little bit of mayo. Actually, that's a little more than I wanted, but. <laughs> Good thing about being outside. A little bit of mayo, a little bit of mustard. Plenty of black pepper, salt. Lunch champions. Mm. And so to have this place come out here, it's doing the farmers a favor. And hey man, wild hog, can't beat it. I'm gonna finish this sandwich, throw in some clothes, going into the woods. All right, so we've got about 45 minutes till dark. Today I'm shooting my Howa 
seven millimeter weight. I've been seeing some giant hog tracks out here, so I want a gun with enough pop that whenever I put it on him, he's gonna go down. Cause I don't wanna have to be dragging him out of the woods. Now, I'm trying to be quiet cause I'm pretty close. Most important thing when you're hog hunting, whether you're with an outfitter or whether you just hunt yourself, check the wind. See that? Wind is blowing just like that. The head that I'm hunting is right here. Wind is perfect. A hog lives and dies with his nose. I'm gonna be sitting on the ground. No backpack, no nothing. I wanna be as stealthy as possible. Gotta have your thermos if you're gonna hunt in South Florida, anywhere in the Southeast where there's mosquitoes, mandatory. Alright you guys, so here's the scoop. I didn't get one, but while I was filming and I was like doing like this in the GoPro, there were deer walking all around me, but I was so pegged I just couldn't show you guys. So I don't want you to feel left out. I don't want you to feel like this is a halfway video. So we're going to go back to me and Sarah's very first hog hunt together. This was in Georgia with a good friend of ours, Wright Harold. This guy was awesome. Just a great guy, and it was a great hunt. Sarah's first hog. I want to shoot one back. We will. This is awesome footage. Just relax. All right, that's two poor hogs fighting over a sow. All right, there's one to our left. Just don't forget about that one. It's coming right at us. See it right there? Yeah. See the big one that's breeding that, that sow? That's the one we want to keep. The hogs are everywhere. We just can't. Got the job done in Ryan, Georgia. We were on a whole herd. We saw a lot of boars, got them fighting, but they kept going behind some thick brush so we couldn't get a shot. This one spotted us, started grunting, and I had to make the shot before they all took off. So, made the shot, and she fell not too far from where I shot, so I'm jacked up to say the least. And right now we're gonna go see if we can catch a, a big boar. We know where they're at, so hopefully we can sneak up on them. The 
This morning I shot a sow and I hit her a little low. So Rob told me to aim a little higher on the front shoulder. And I did and it poof, dropped from his tracks. Made a good shot. First boar hog. Well, that's what it's all about. What a great hunt. We took it back to camp, skinned it out, had some good meat. But it's always fun when you're in the woods with the people that you love. Each Friday, it may be hunting, it may be shooting, it may be cleaning the, our guns, it may be who knows what. But every Friday, Firearm Fridays. And don't worry, we have not abandoned Tasty Tuesday. I just haven't had a ton of an appetite lately. But we will be doing a big smoked prime rib this week. Good stuff. Thanks for being a part of the channel. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you guys soon. Share, subscribe, thumbs up, tell a friend.